Hello guys, my name is Miss Gabby from the Jacinto City Branch Library and I'm going to be reading a story with you today. I am going to use our Overdrive ebook collection. Today we are reading Naughty Mabel written by Nathan Lane and Devlin Elliott. We are reading with permission from Simon and Schuster Publishing Company. Let's go ahead and get started. Hello, darlings. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Mabel, Mabel of the Hamptons, and this is my humble abode. Look at that huge house and pool. I know a lady isn't supposed to reveal her age, and we're only on the third page, but I feel like I know you already. I'm five. Oh, I know I don't look it. Besides, five is the new three. Anyway, as you can see, life is good. Real good. Like a sundae with bacon on top. Or caviar. Oh, or peanut butter. But I digress. Back to me. My parents are very sweet. For humans. And take very good care of me. They have many little pet names for me. Sweetie. Precious Snooky Ookums, but mostly they call me Naughty. Uh oh, look what Mabel did. She knocked over those flowers, and she's wearing a sign that says, I eat underwear. Oh no, it looks like she ran across the table and knocked over the turkey. At first, I didn't even know what the word meant. Honestly, would I lie to you? But when I looked it up, I was flabbergasted. I am not naughty. I don't know, Mabel. I think you are. It looks like she knocked over the Christmas tree and chewed up the presents. I am very naughty. <laughs> You're right, Mabel. You are very naughty. Look, it looks like she ate keys and a watch and a diamond ring in that x-ray. And she was driving a golf cart and hit a police officer. Mabel, you should not be painting on top of that painting. My parents say I'm a Frenchie, which I find odd as I don't speak French. I have zero interest in snails. And I look absurd in a beret. Hmm. But I do love bread and cheese. And fries. Wait, maybe I am French. I also like to give kisses to everyone. And lick everything. Even myself. Do you mind, darlings? This is private. Now, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't want you to think I'm, how you say, pampered. I have my jobs to do. I just like to keep things interesting. Most of my week is taken up with napping and chewing my foot. Don't knock it till you've tried it. But I love weekends best because that's when we have quality family fun time. And if there's anything that spells quality family fun time, it's miniature golf. Am I right, people? Of course I play by my own rules. I'm a maverick. What can I say? But this particular weekend, I smelled something fishy. And not just because they had sushi for lunch. No, on Saturday, instead of quality family fun time, it was suddenly bath time. Maybe it's the French in me, but I do not like to bathe. Not one bit. Seriously, people, what is the obsession with soap and water? Once every three weeks is perfectly fine. I discuss this new wrinkle in my routine with my feline friends next door, Smarty Cat and Scaredy Cat. We all decided that there could only be one reason for my special bath. <gasps> my parents were throwing a party! Smarty Cat and Scaredy Cat were jealous because the humans in my life throw fabulous parties while their human is a nice old lady who falls asleep watching late-night infomercials. They said I'm lucky as well as naughty. 
a frightening combination. Unlucky is more like it because that night I was sent to bed early, alone, bathed, partyless. This injustice called for a response because I lived to party. My game plan was to try to blend in, hoping they wouldn't notice. Ugh, crash! Ugh, they noticed. So did everyone else. You've never seen so many camera phones flashing very red carpet. I was told parties aren't for naughty little girls, but what good is a party without naughty little girls? I'm a free spirit. I could not let my parents hold me back. Drastic times called for drastic measures. I'm really quite fast, so it was almost impossible for them to catch me. Almost. Uh, do you know the name of a good lawyer? Oh, if my parents only spoke my language, I would have explained to them that sometimes naughty little girls just aren't ready for bed yet, and that by the looks of things, this naughty little girl had actually livened up the evening and turned a so-so party into a rousing success. You're welcome. But instead, my stomach started growling and rumbling and... Darlings, in my defense, I'd eaten far too many pigs in way too many blankets. (laughs) Unfortunately, the pigs had the last word. Well, I sure know how to clear a room. I guess that was the end of the party. I thought I was in real trouble this time, but that's when my parents told me that even though I had been very unladylike, they loved me anyway, no matter what. That blew my mind. (laughs) Humans, go figure. You know what? I think they were glad I crashed the party. They get lonely without me. After all, we are one big happy family. So go ahead, call me Naughty Mabel. My parents do, but that doesn't mean they love me any less. And I couldn't love them any more. The end. Well, thanks again for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this book. My name is Miss Gabby, and I had a great time reading with you. Remember to stay safe and healthy. I miss you all and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.